the green and the white wire. This is the uh, keyboard and mouse. And this wire here is a male USB that goes into the Minix uh, US, uh, you know, full size USB port. This wire here is for power, and you see the black and um, red wire and the shielding foil. Uh, this goes to a female USB and then a male USB to the mini USB and you can see that it's charging um, because it's connected and um, this is charging because this part ultimately ends up here where it charges so this goes all the way through this is the original cable that goes to here and then this is its Duracell's wire cable and then this is the Duracell battery uh, that's being charged by the Atrix battery Atrix lapduck battery and it goes and connects into a male it has a female USB and the male USB goes in and it travels down and of course I have a really long cable and it powers the Minix all right so these are powering the Minix this green and white are for the keyboard that go into the Minix so basically power and keyboard and mouse and then this is just the HDMI that goes to the female to female coupler and then you have your usual uh, one that everybody's using the male the adapter from full size to micro HDMI so here's the whole setup um, you know I'm gonna shorten this wire I got these wires I'm gonna do a better job and uh, shrink wrap them and then um, that's pretty much it so let's give it a start and we will see how it's running okay I turned the computer on and now with everything connected I will turn on the battery the backup battery and that's gonna power Minix okay and it's going through its startup and it's connected everything and now you open up the lid and you get the Minix screen starting up this is for the first time and then once it's started up um, you can close the lid and open the lid and it'll still keep it where, where it was left off and then I'll show you so then it starts up less than a minute and then I like to use Go Launcher, but I'll use this launcher. I have a live wallpaper running. And now, if you go into settings, oh, got a notification. If you go into settings and you go to screen and you go to HDMI mode, you'll see that you only have two of these resolutions. Uh, and that's a problem. But to solve this problem, you just close the lid leave it closed and then open it back up again and you have all the resolutions and that's the the way to keep all the resolutions uh, it's that simple um, the reason you have the backup battery is to um, you know when you close the lid and you open the lid it's always left off where it is and then you know when you travel you turn everything off unplug everything and do the same steps I did to start it up again. So you start up the backup battery first, and then you um, you start up the you know then you open up the lid. So now if we go home, I like to use Go Launcher. So I'm gonna go to Go Launcher, and uh, Go Launcher is good because you can set up multiple uh, you know you set up your icons easier, and uh, it's just nice. So if you open up an application that you have to type. You see that the trackpad works perfectly, and I'll just write, put something that I can write. Then you just type away, and it works just fine. Now, I have a UK keyboard Atrix laptop, and the only difference is, is the number three has their money sign, and the number two has their quotation, and then where the quotation was supposed to be, that's where the at sign is. So basically, if I hit shift, uh, I'll show you on the screen, if I hit shift two, I'll get the at sign, because I have it set up. Uh, with keyboard helper and uh, I set it so that it's a uh, you know American keyboard and uh, I also 
when I type, I don't get the uh, keyboard that pops up. I hit that keyboard. And that's pretty much it with that. And now if you hit the escape button, uh, watch what happens. It goes, it's the go back button. So you just go back, uh, you know, one step. It's the same as that button down there, the go back button. So let's, uh, let's put on um, Mythbusters or something, you know. So I'll just click away on Mythbusters. And I have it set up so that I can play it off my uh, Google TV, but I'm not going to do that. I'll play it off the uh, Minix. And uh, it's beautiful. And, you know, the volume controls work. You just hit function and, and the volume buttons uh, here. The function and the volume buttons. And all the functions work. Everything works fine. So if you uh, just hit the escape button, it'll take you backwards. And um, it's telling you to you want to leave, and I'll say yes. And it works beautifully. And uh, the USBs work uh, the, from the Atrix, uh, the two USBs in the back. Uh, if you have, like, say, a phone connected USB-wise, and you open up the lid, it'll start charging. But if you if you uh, close the lid, it'll stop charging. So that's a, another issue. Um, I think it has something to do with the backup battery. Who knows, you know? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, spread the word. Uh, I'm sure a lot of these communities would like to know if the uh, Minix um, G4, a uh, Neo G4, works on an Atrix laptop. And the answer is yes. Works beautifully. With a little bit of modification. Uh, you know, if you had the right wires, you can always power up the, uh, the Minix with the USB. But when you close the lid, it will flicker. And you'll lose your resolution, and you'll have to restart your Minix every time. And uh, that's the advantage of having that backup battery. So basically, that's it. It's keeping its resolution. Uh, it's keeping power to the uh, the mini computer because I have that backup battery. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you on my next video.